Here are the grand generals. And the queen and court are standing applauding them as they pass beginning our parade. President, Mr. and Mrs. Clyde R. Richardson, the Portland Rose Festival Association. Mrs. Shrunk is representing the mayor, Terry D. Shrunk. Of course, this is the Western Governors Conference is in town, and the mayor is tied up with official functions. The Queen's Float is approaching. District number seven, winning a third place in the competition of Princess Floats. And of course, it's Queen Carol Peterson and Prime Minister Stephen Mulkey appropriately following the Queen's float. <coughs> the Queen's Carol's scrapbook. On the float is Carol Ann Bolt and uh, Jimmy Tolman. The float is pulled incidentally by the Queen's brother, Johnny. There are 6,000 handmade roses. And by the way, all these bicycles placed first, second, and third. The Durango High School Band. Numbering 125 there from Durango, Colorado, past champion of many band competitions. They were chosen to represent the state of Colorado at the Music Band Band Festival in Iowa, the largest such event in American history in 1962, directed by Eugene E. Honey. The honor band. Here is the sweepstakes winner. Princess Division, sponsored by the Hawthorne Boosters. The theme of this float is my first May basket, made up of daisies and peonies. And riding the float is Princess Carrie Sunderleaf, age nine, and Prince Guy Davis, also nine. Sweet Stakes winner, sponsored by the Hollywood Boosters. District 5 placed second in the judging, their theme trip to the World's Fair. The boy power here is Troop 21 from Sunrise District. Riding the float, Princes Janice Burke and Prince Rick Bittner, both age 10. These are a part of the hundreds of youngsters in the open division, which means they can design, make, and create, and model any type of attire, costume, device they choose, and you'll see just about any one of those mentioned in the parade. Following behind is uh, another float. This one is district number four. Their theme is trip to Disneyland, sponsored by the Selwood Marlin district number four. Princess Carol Ann Wilcox and Prince Richard Frank. Carol is eight and Dick is age 10. Trip to Disneyland. Beautiful dancing girls, preceded by the Sabre Corps. And some more individual float entries. You notice the boy power uh, in almost every instance in these floats are the cooperative Cub and Boy Scout groups of their districts. There's a beautiful Ziegfeld girl. The Seattleettes, Baton Corps from Seattle, Washington, special representatives of Greater Seattle Incorporated. From these twirlers come the drum majorettes from the future to lead all the bands from all the areas. They start young. The gun safety drill team 
cutest little girl in there. The gun's almost as big as she is. Suffrage now, I think, is the theme of this float. Votes for women. <laughs> Skyline School Band. One of the many drum and bugle corps, and they're followed by another float from district area number two, the north area. Their theme is Little Red Schoolhouse. The float carries Princess Colleen Allen and Prince Thomas Waldrop, age 10. Little Red Schoolhouse. Exotic lands and uh, great evidence of the nursery rhymes and fairy tales. These are little individual floats, individual division, with cute little signs. One little girl with a couple of front teeth missing with a sign, I got a dollar for my two front teeth. Prince and the Poppers, a man from uh, Auntie. Colorful floats, all pulled by youngsters. Most of these, of course, had some assist from mom and dad who worked through the early hours this morning getting them ready. The Hollywood District and the first place winner sponsored the float. And the Scout Troop 22 from the Mount Hood District is providing the manpower to pull Princess Gail Iben, age 10, she's from Gregory Heights School, and Prince Jeffrey Henning from Rose City Park. One of these several individual floats entered, this one from Clackamas. Fun and fantasy. This is the wheel division, two to four or more. This year, no skateboards were permitted. Otherwise, we'd probably have seen a great abundance of them. The newsboys did a land office business uh, earlier today when the rain was coming down in light forms, uh, not necessarily for the editorial comments, but uh, the absorption quality of the newsprint someone to find a dry place to sit upon. Plastic sensation has been quite heavy. Lots of umbrellas in view, but fortunately the weather has cleared. We're under semi-cloudy skies, but the, it's brilliant and pleasant, and everyone is enjoying the Junior Parade. The Kelly Cadet Corps. And their float is one that's really outstanding, as are the many participants who made it possible. Each year, a new prince and princess is selected from the Corps, the ages ranging from 9 to 12 years. Yeah, we get that Corps was organized 12 years ago to help keep youngsters busy, active, working. The group has grown from six little girls in the backyard to over 60. This year's Benny Holtz and Scott Lankins are the royal couple. Benny is 10 years old and attends John Bestel School. Scott is 11. He attends Dunaway. Betty Greiner, Corps Director, has designed the Kelly Cadet float since they won their first sweepstakes. That was 12 years ago. Cupboard doors, little wagon wheels were used at the base of the first float. Bailing wire, old newspapers, wallpaper base made up of a field of daisies. But they look great. Here's a sharp precision outfit. Seattle Buddhist Church, from the Civil Corps.
equipment of the world, and they're preceded by some gaily attired young ladies from the uh, cat world, I believe, equipped with furry tails, cat's eyes, gaily bedecked costumes. State of Washington, Longview, Kelso area, Drum and Bugle Corps. Astronauts was much in evidence in this Junior Rose Festival Parade, of course, with McDivitt and White. White, his famous spacewalk of 20 minutes. And there is the capsule that put him there, the United States and the Gemini 4. A trophy goes to the Filipino American Association of Portland, Oregon, for their float, entered in the individual class in the open division. And they're playing that uh, stick game. Good way to get your toes pinched if you don't dance high. It's bicycles and unicycles. And some uh, attractive young man with a, uh, needs a haircut. He's, his hair is even longer than the beetle cut. He's doing it the hard way. He's got an off-center rear wheel. A bell for a taillight and a flipper horn in front. The Park Rose Heights Junior High Panthers. antique car and, and it's grandpa's pride. This is from Woodlawn. A very colorful bright red hood. The backing of fins. The Tualatin Twillers, which gives you an idea of uh, interest, activity in this particular endeavor. A cross section of about all types, sizes, ages, desires. Junior Civic Theater float immediately following. One of the enterprising arts here in Portland. Costumes of all shape, color, and variety. And behind that is one of our Princess's Division floats. from Walnut Park District Number 3, Princess Division with Princess Teresa Tubbs, St. Charles School, and Prince Tom Rennie, both age 10, both from St. Charles. Always a touch of humor, the queen and king and queen are of the dead end kids. Park Cup, we're reminding you to stay tuned for the color spectacular, the Grand Floral Parade, your hosts, are Richard Ross and Connie G. Worth. 